Okay, so trying to continue on the beer trail. A lot of choices. So yet another uh, local brewery, semi-local. For me, it's like three hours, so it's like the outskirts of Dallas, basically. Uh, Denton, so it's not far from Arlington. Uh, Fort Worth, all that stuff. Lancaster, it's all closer to that side. So from Austin, it's north, basically. Uh, they did mesquite beans, so I guess they got mesquite and made beans out of it. Uh, I'm not sure if they were charred or not. I'm thinking not um, from the flavor profile. And they got a blonde ale, golden and blonde ales. Are really easy drinking ales that have a beautiful golden color. Uh, they're not red or anything. They they do spice them. You can put fruits in them. It's very common for a lot of fruit beers. So it was one of the original practices. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> this one, got to give it another shot. I did have a couple from the six pack. Had conflicting aromas, but then I guess cedar fever or six something. So let's see if this changes. Right now, for real, off the bat, you got beautiful color. I'm um, pretty sure you got some infusion. So the wood has tannins. So even if you don't, you can't really taste them. Uh, you can feel them, and they can contribute to the color of the beer. So those are things that happen. Pretty good, right? See, and that's the thing. I'm getting this little from the honey. And the mesquite and so it's very woody um smells sweet and nose almost perfumey so that's what i'm getting and so one thing about um <clears throat> golden ales um blonde ales they're not going to have a dominant malt and a dominant they're supposed to be balanced so it doesn't smell particularly too uh malty it has a little bit of it i'm getting very little of the hops where I'm getting all the other stuff, the perfuminess and stuff from the mesquite. So let's see. Yeah. So I get the beautiful tannic concept. I can feel them on the tip of my tongue. It's a nice blonde, fairly balanced, but it leaves like a little perfumey linger. I don't know specifically where it comes from. I'm not super experienced into that. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not my favorite. I think it's just probably the mesquite and the, the, the hops. My brain's not being able to process them both. <coughs> yeah, at least like, a little perfume in the back, but it's definitely golden. Nice malt. It's not too heavy. It's more heavier than lager because obviously it's an ale. So ale's, you know, once you cook them like that, you're going to get a little more out of it and it's going to leave a little more in the body. So... The thickness is a little bit more. SRM is probably like eight, six, eight. I don't know around there. <clears throat> don't know if it has an ABV. It's probably going to be around like four or five. But it's not bad. It doesn't particularly stand out. And I'm trying to I think it's just the mesquite beans. Even their nice woodiness, but with the sweetness of the golden ale, my brain's like. Uh, 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 uh. So it's definitely something to sit there. Take your time with, figure it out, enjoy it. This is the first one I tried from them. I'm going to look forward to try a couple other ones because sometimes uh, you're not going to like every style. Like I remember back when I was growing up, you buy a CD because of that one song and you get it and you're like, damn, I don't, I don't even like this whole CD, man. <laughs> like, I kind of wasted my money. And then you get a single, but you only get one song and I don't know. So one the way I look at it is um, just because you're not really big on that beer, do find a specific style that you know you're going to like from that brewery and give that one the real shot before you make final decisions on it or try a flight. That's always the best works for me. I find at least two, three beers out of them. This is just one. I just want to check them out. Uh, they stand out really nice. Uh, I want to definitely support the local breweries. They definitely do a good job. They work hard. Um, but this is just not my top one. So hopefully it's something if you already know you like blondes, if you already like mesquite, you like the tannins, you like the sweet vanilla off that, go for it. Uh, other than that, uh, hopefully just something taught you, helped you out a little bit on this video. And uh, thank you for watching. You know, subscribe, add on, uh, hit me up if you know a little bit more and you can specify if you're trying this. Just add it in the notes. I'd like to check it out and uh, we all learn from each other. I'm going to keep looking and trying to figure it out. But other than that, do have a good night and be safe.